Okay, in case you guys didn't know by now, I have built a Hackintosh, and you see it right before your eyes. So I figured, what else would you guys want to see rather than me giving you guys a demo of it? So first, I'm going to come over here to About This Mac, and as you can see, I'm running 10.6.4, which is the newest version of Mac OS X. So I'm fully upgraded, everything works. As you can see up here, I have wireless working, I have sound working, um, it's really perfect, a perfect Hackintosh. But so I'm just going to go ahead and go into System Profiler a little bit. System Profiler a little bit, excuse me. Uh, so as you can see, I'm rocking the Core i7, 2.83 gigahertz. So the Core i7 930. You can watch my unboxing if you want. I have six gigs of RAM, which I plan to upgrade to 12, probably for a Christmas present or something. Uh, so as you can see, I have it set to Mac Pro. Uh, one of my users, I'm not sure of his name, but you know who you are if you're watching, said that um, when I ran the Geekbench, the, the number was really close to the um, 2009 Mac Pro. So I pretty much have a Mac Pro in my hands. Um, I got it for just over a thousand dollars, so that's like half the price. So it was definitely worth all the money. But I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you through some of these um, disc burning. I just have a standard DVD drive. Memory, as you can see, two gigs, two gigs, two gigs, running uh, at uh, 1,079 megahertz. That's a little underclocked, but I'll go into BIOS and uh, I'll run it at the normal, which is 1333. Um, graphics, I have an uh, in NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GTX Plus. I'm not sure why this says GTK Plus, GTK Plus, but it does. But it's 512, I have everything enabled with it. It worked out of the box, it was great. Um, PCI cards, that's just my graphics card. Um, I, I have a wireless printer hooked up to it. This is just some random stuff here. Um, as you can see, I have, do have my wireless working. Um, I just have a standard PCI graph or wireless card, so it does work. And as you can see, I'm running in 64-bit mode, which is great because um, Premiere Pro stuff like that requires six or requires 64-bit. And if you want, if I wanted to use all six gigs of RAM, I'd have to have 64-bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess I'll run Geekbench. Okay, so to make this as fair as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and close Mail. Close iChat, close iTunes, close destroy Twitter. I can, and the only thing that will be running is the screen capture, which is fairly resource intensive, so my scores won't be what they will be if I wasn't running it. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. It really shouldn't take too long. Um, usually I, I can get it around 10,000. My last one I got to 10,008. You can see a screenshot of that on Twitter. I posted it. But this will probably be just over 9,000 maybe somewhere around there yeah so this this scored quite a lot lower um, I got 9,000 on here but usually I can get around 10,000 like I said so but either way that's still really not bad so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll open a few things here I'll open uh, iMovie I'll open iTunes Chrome and as you can see open fairly fast there's another screen capture I did there let's go ahead and minimize this I'll go ahead and put this up there uh, go ahead and open a bunch of tabs you get the idea go ahead and play some Minecraft for you guys just open some random applications go ahead and open Premiere Pro there's iCal Minecraft you could full screen this as you can see up here, all my cores, um, I have iStat menus installed, so my cores are kind of going nuts. But even with all this stuff open, um, I just I just randomly opened a bunch of stuff. My computer is running, I'm using about 13% of my computer right now. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and open up Cooler. I don't think there's going to be anything in here, because um, I don't think I saved it, now. But this is just um, my Premiere Pro. So we'll go on here, we'll do some... Uh, Wanna? Oops. Okay, we'll go ahead and play on Buana's public servers. Mm. A shout out to Buana. Go to spawn. Mm. And as you can see, Minecraft works very smooth. It runs perfectly at the highest settings. Um, obviously, it's not a very graphically intensive game, but um, just to have, believe me, for my old computer, this would barely run on lowest settings by itself, let alone with all the other stuff like a screen capture and everything else. I have a video editor open, all that other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this for now. I'm going to go ahead and run Parallels. 
which if you don't know what it is, it's a virtual machine. I have Windows 7 set up with Parallels. I'm going to go ahead and use it. As you can see over here, click to start. I, usually, I have it set to run in coherence mode and you'll see what that is in a minute. But while that's going, I'm going to go ahead, I'll open GarageBand. Okay, we'll go ahead, we'll open Front Row. Why not? So as you can see, the virtual machine, well, you can't really see it anymore, but the virtual machine does, I, I have it set to take two gigs of my RAM. So, yeah, go, go, go ahead and go to music. This is just, just takes right from your iTunes library, so we'll go to artists okay let's go ahead and quit out of that you guys get the idea uh, here's GarageBand Windows 7 has taken forever to boot up I'm not really sure why there we go starting coherence okay so I'm gonna go ahead and come up here if you right click this icon up here that's kinda like your start menu never mind it's still loading up over there just went away yeah you can't see it but there's a little taskbar down there okay as you can see now I have my windows icons up here so my, as you can see my temperatures have gone up quite a bit I just ordered a new heatsink so I, these should be going down but I'm just gonna go ahead and um, We'll open paint, why not? Okay, here's paint right here. So we'll just get the pencil tool, get a brush tool, change to pink, why not? And you guys get the idea, there is um, Windows stuff running right next to Mac stuff. So anyone that says Macs don't have compatibility, you have no idea what you're talking about, you can't use that excuse anymore. Switch to Mac. Um, yeah, let's see. I'll go ahead and open up Final Cut. And I'll go ahead and resume some Minecraft while that loads. Very fun game, by the way, in case you've never checked it out. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and quit. Not quit, I'll just leave, I'll leave it running. And this is the video I just uploaded. This is my CPU cooler video. Just in case you couldn't tell. Could open the T-Rex. The T-Rex. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some spaces going. We'll have iTunes come over here, and we'll go ahead and we'll unminimize that, unminimize that, unminimize that, and we'll go ahead. Just so you guys can get an idea that everything does still run very smooth. Um, it's gonna lag a little bit probably in the screen capture, but for everything I have running, my I'm still only using 20, around 30% of my computer. I am using a lot of my RAM, like the vast majority of it. But that's mostly if I were to close the virtual machine, I'd probably still have two gigs free. So this guy, this just gives you guys an idea of how um, good OS 10 is with managing all your stuff. Um, it's really hard to top out a Mac. Um, the virtual machine, like I said, is really what's killing it, but even like a game like Minecraft, I can still run it full screen and it still runs perfectly. And now that Steam's come to Max, I'm sure a lot of the games would be doing the same thing. Um, OS X just manages apps and RAM and everything just so much better than Windows. It's just less resource intensive. But yeah, um, I don't really want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to start wrapping up. So I'm going to go ahead and close everything. Just got to give you guys an idea that everything will still close down nice and smooth. Closed, closed, closed. So everything does work very well. Like I said, I have everything working. And as you can see, I'm going to close the virtual machine and you can see how much my RAM will go down. I'm going to go ahead and shut that down. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. Um, that was just a quick tour of my Hackintosh. I'll probably be doing a tour of my case. Um, there's still a bunch of wires out of place. I'm going to tie those together, get my case looking all nice. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. 
go ahead and leave a comment on this video. Um, I'd really like to read what you guys think. Um, overall, I think it was definitely worth every dollar. This Hackintosh really is fantastic. I have not had any issues with it yet. Uh, I probably won't. <laughs> I mean, other than maybe a troublesome update here and there just due to it being hacked. Um, definitely a great investment. If you guys really want a Mac but you don't have the money and you need performance, I would highly recommend just building a PC and make sure, just do your research. I spent hours making sure these parts would work and it paid off. So just do your research and you'll have a great machine. So if you're looking for a Mac, you want like a Mac Pro type of computer, like just a nice, um, very powerful one, but you don't have the money, like the, the 2500 for a Mac Pro, I highly recommend going the Hackintosh route. Um, definitely worth it. Um, like I said, you need to know how to build a computer. You need to know some stuff about hardware and software, but it's really nothing that complex. So, and there's plenty of guides out there to help you. So, if, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know, and thanks for watching.